Company accounts for Bet365 were just updated revealing Denise Coates' salary for the year. It's another staggering result for this rags to riches billionaire. And if you're wondering how much money Bet365 and its bosses make, this video gives a rapid rundown of turnover, profits, how much she earns and what she's been spending this ungodly amount of money on. Before she became Britain's richest woman, she could be found on the edge of a car park in Stoke where she started the global betting brand in the early 2000s. She had seen the online betting opportunity and the massive growth for it long before others had. Many didn't even know who she was and still, to some extent, that's true today. After getting a first class degree at Sheffield University in econometrics, the process of applying statistical models to economic data, she went on to further the betting brand. A previous school teacher, David Owen, said she got everything right, only asked pertinent questions and was angelically behaved. She was clearly off the scale. If we're talking Mensa, she'd be in the top 1% as he spoke to the BBC. By 2013, this had started to show in Bet365's annual growth, where she took a £5 million salary, followed by £13 million in 2014, £30 million in 2015, £54 million in 2016, and eventually £199 million in 2017, which is where the media started to give her and her company a lot of attention, mainly because customers had started to complain on scale that the company won't take a bet if you were to place it at any kind of value, the insane amount of marketing spend by the company, and eventually her spending habits, which we'll come on to in just a second. By 2018, she was on a salary of £220 million, followed by £277 million in 2019, and eventually a whopping £421 million in 2020. Which which leads me on to this year. Everyone was expecting another ungodly amount to be released yesterday, but accounts show that the top director's salary was only £250 million. And although she wasn't named directly, I can't see who else it would have been. On top of that, the company dividend stood at £97.5 million, of which she holds 50% shares, thus taking half of it. To put that into context, the salary and dividend together would put her slightly ahead of Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple. Although it was £170 million pay cut on last year, the first time her pay has gone down in three years. If you were to combine that five year salary and add on the dividends, you would see around about 1.3 billion has been taken by Denise, making her and the Coates family Britain's biggest taxpayers for the year, a title they've held for the last three years. Last year alone, Bet365 paid 615 million in tax and Denise paid 220 million on her own personal income, not to mention the 85 million she donated to charity. The company accounts also revealed some other interesting facts about the company. Charitable donations have increased almost 20% to 103.4 million this year, despite the pandemic having a reported significant impact restricting business. A welcome sight by all those punters that have been restricted by Bet365 themselves. Sports wages decreased 13% compared to the previous year and Bet365 didn't take any government support during the pandemic. Group revenues stood at 2.8 billion with a pre-tax profit of 469 million, down 40% on the previous year. But this hasn't slowed down Denise's spending. In recent times, there have been articles about Denise's neighbors up in Cheshire saying that she's been offering them wild amounts of money for their land so she can develop and build her £90 million mega mansion. It appears she can't spend it quick enough on this massive glass structure scaling 52 acres in Cheshire, including an artificial lake, sunken tennis courts, stables, ornamental gardens, a boathouse, and workers' cottages. It's a home fit for a Bond villain, which is quite surprising considering she drives an Aston Martin DB9 with personalised plates. Now, when it comes to entrepreneurship, I think it's fair to say Denise is a front runner. She has led the field over the last 10, 15 years. Although the sad truth is, the general public don't realize that this massive wealth has been accumulated by restricting winning accounts, or now, anybody who comes close to winning and is not as profitable for Bet365, and retargeting losers with free bets and other promotional concessions. All the while advertising your chance to win. Just the other day, I seen a Bet365 advert advertising the fact that they'd given away a massive 10 million pounds over the last month on their casino products. To put that into context, that's just two weeks work for Denise herself. However, that doesn't mean it's totally impossible to win when it comes to sports betting. If you wanna make your betting pay and bet 365 haven't state restricted you yet, you need to watch this video as it reveals a mathematical loophole that ensures you win over the longer term. There's an example with all the numbers broken down to prove it, so don't miss out and win some money back off of Denise. 